Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I am here to bring you a product review. I'm here to talk with you about the new Tressalure Wig Wax. I'm really excited. I've been testing this product for a week and I have a lot to say. So if you'd like to learn more about it, stick around. All right, I have been using this product now for the past week, probably 10 days actually. I really, really wanted a chance to, to assess how well it works, how does it work over time, how does it work if I apply it to a wig multiple times, all of those things. Because it is one thing to be able to give you a quick review of a product that you just took out, maybe used once. Uh, but it's a whole other thing entirely to get to like live with a product and really assess it over time. And that is what I wanted to do with this one. Um, honestly, you guys spending money right now is a huge decision for most of us. That's just not enough money to go around with the expense of everything. And so I wanted to make sure that if I recommended this or didn't recommend it, that I had good evidence for why one way or the other, so that if you're going to spend your money, you aren't going to do so blindly. So let me tell you about wig wax. First of all, I don't know why it's called wig wax. It's a little bit misleading. When I hear the word wax, I'm really thinking of more like a pot, like, like maybe the John Renault peace out cream, you know, that's got this like kind of this is more creamy, it's not really waxy, but you know what I mean, like a pomade of some sort that's sticky and waxy. This isn't that at all, it is a spray. And it is a wonderful spray. It is definitely something that I plan to use with my wigs regularly. So I'll say that right off the bat, I've really enjoyed it. I will give you a strong caution though, this is very scented. It has a very strong perfume smell when you spray it. It, um, you know, does it linger? Where's my Lady Latte? I've sprayed Lady Latte a lot with it. You know, I don't really think it lingers long term, but I definitely think if you are scent sensitive, this is this has a very strong scent that kind of hangs around for a little bit. I wouldn't say that now you smell like you're wearing perfume necessarily, but um, you do not want this if you can't do scents. And uh, I'll just say that right off the bat. I really like the scent, but it is quite strong. How do you use it? Well, I'm going to demonstrate on a couple of different wigs, um, ways that I have used it. And I'll tell you right off the bat, it does not leave a lasting coating on your wig, which I love. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I do not like to use products on my wigs. I don't spray my wigs regularly with conditioning spray or any type of product because wigs are not porous. They do not absorb what you spray on them. So when you're spraying a conditioning spray, on it for example it's it's just coating the fibers eventually that wig is going to need to be washed because you've coated the fibers so many times so I'm just not a fan of doing that and there are products that I have so for, you know for example I have demonstrated John Renault peace out cream which I have and I love this for certain things but it absolutely makes your wig dirty. It stays on those fibers. It kind of makes them greasy feeling the next time that you wear the wig. I 100% think this is valuable. I like it. I especially like it with short wigs, shorter than this, that you want to like texture out and make PC, but it's going to make it dirty. So it's sort of a trade-off on how bad you want to style it. I have recently reviewed, and I've got it right here. I can show it to you, the beauty of doing these things in my bathroom. I've recently reviewed, maybe a couple months ago, the Beach Spray by Aesthetica. Again, I really liked it for what it does, which is to amp up some of the curls in a wig. I do not like the smell of this one at all, at all. And it's not as strong as this. It's just not a good smell to me. And... Again, I think it does coat the fibers and make them feel a little different. They feel like you have put something on them. Not as much as the piece of cream, but definitely some. This stuff, on the other hand, I don't know where it goes, but the wig feels as soft as it did before I used it. 
it does hold though. And in some ways, and I'll, I'll demonstrate with this one and with my Lady Latte, it holds almost like a hairspray, but it doesn't make it crunchy or sticky at all. And so um, the wig will lose a little bit of its like movement and flow when you use it like hairspray does. And I'm okay with that. If I'm putting some product in my wig and I'm trying to get it to hold a style, I, I don't expect it to be able to hold the style and remain as completely flowy and free movement as it did before I put product in it. I mean, I think that would be unrealistic and, and our bio hair never really did that. So let me just show you. So one thing with these heat friendly styles is you can, this is straight up with the twist by Raquel Welch. I'm really in love with this one right now. You can get it to um, kind of poof out a little bit because those heat friendly fibers are a little malleable and they do like to be messed with, but it doesn't really stay that way for a long period of time. Eventually gravity is going to make it fall. What I have found with this though, is if I spray it and you know, kind of spray it liberally, if you don't use enough, the effect isn't, won't last. One thing I do like is you can get lift on the front with this stuff. So if you have a wig that's falling in your face, this might be a good alternative to steam. Now, I don't know if the wig is falling in your face really badly, how that will work. I don't know that it'll work with every single wig. I think it depends on how bad it is, how the fibers move, how you know much movement there is, if there's any permatees at all, all of those things. But look what that just did. And, and I sprayed a lot, like it's not just one little squirt. I sprayed quite a bit to get it to do that, but it did give it lift. And so I'm able to really get some things done with this. And the more you spray, the more you'll feel it. It'll start to feel a little sticky, but you don't need a lot. It really depends on how much you're trying to change the style. Let me show you a different wig. This is Lady Latte, and I have a lot of heat friendly wigs here right now because I'm doing my heat friendly series like I promised you guys. And I haven't filmed anything in the series yet, but I'm wearing heat friendly wigs all the time. So I'm getting experience with them. I'm documenting, I'm watching how they wear. So stay tuned for that if you wanna know more about heat friendly wigs. But this Lady Latte has been worn a lot. I think I buried my comb here on the counter. I've worn her, um, I don't know, since I did my video a couple of Sundays ago about He Friendly, I think I've worn her six times for 10 plus hours a day. And this one was already worn. I mean, I've probably worn this one now 70 plus times. I've worn her a ton. I mean, she looks amazing. She looks so great. But I have been using this wig wax on her almost every day, and I have not washed her. So... I think she's moving really well. She feels soft. She doesn't feel crunchy. She doesn't feel sticky. It's so good. It's just so good. So when I do put it on, I'm usually just trying to get a little bit more lift. So I'm spraying it and I'm doing this. So I'm trying to get it at the root. Something with Lady Latte. She doesn't have permatees. So if you want to get some volume in her, you've got to find something that will let you do that because she doesn't have any permatees. And I have found that this works really, really well. There's that side. There's this side. It's not going to be a crazy amount of volume because there is no permatees there. And I have found that it doesn't last the 10 hours. So if I do this, I mean, it definitely lasts and it's easy to refresh. Like all I have to do is kind of get in there and mess it up again and I can get it to poof out again. But if I need it for all day, I probably need to respray it at some point. Um, but it's just so good. And yes, it does make it a little bit clumpy, not clumpy, move like you've got hairspray in your hair. But I mean, gosh, we can't have our cake and eat it too. I mean, we have to make some compromises. I have loved it though. It really, really has helped. And like I said, I've sprayed it almost every time I've worn it the past six times or whatever, and it still feels amazing. And it did not smell strong. That was what I was just smelling at the beginning to see if I could really smell the spray left over on the fibers. But it's really strong in the air. I mean, definitely strong in the air. So I'm gonna throw this one on and show you guys. So this one is Aesthetica Violet, not heat friendly. 
so that you could, those were straight pieces, so that you can see a curly piece. So this violet has seen better days. It's, it's definitely well, well worn. And so don't judge this violet by like how violet would look if you bought her because it's a well-worn piece. And this one, maybe I have even trimmed or thinned. I can't remember. It's really old, but I was taking this on this one to see if I could scrunch in some cur more curl because she sometimes needs help. And so I was doing that. Let me get just a little bit of water on my fingers. Cause I think what worked well is a little bit of water and a little bit of the wig wax and then scrunching just to get a little bit more messy curl in because she does tend to fall since she is so old. So, and I, like I said, I've been using this a lot, multiple times every day, almost every day, not every day, almost every day for the past seven to 10 days. And I have a ton left. Like, I mean, I can't see it. I can't really tell, but I have a ton left. It's definitely not being used up quickly. I like it, you guys. I really, really like it. Um, I can't think of any con. The only con is the smell, really. And I enjoy the smell. So it's not really a con to me, but it is very strongly perfumely scented. I just really want to stress that. Otherwise, I like it. I think it's so far, I've used it on curly wigs. I've used it on straight wigs. I've used it to get some lift at the front. So if you have a wig that you need to get a little lift at the front. I've watched people do that on Instagram. I just watched someone the other day and it was just like, holy moly, that worked so well. There you go. A little bit of lift there. And you know, if I really, really wanted to be secure that that was going to hold that lift, I would, what I would do is I would let it dry because it is a little bit wet and then I would do it again. And then I think you would get yourself, as long as you don't keep touching it, I think you would get all day lift on the front. Now, these fibers are a little bit hardier. They're not super wispy. I have a Bell Trust Lady Latte hand tied wig. That the fibers lay in my face super bad. I haven't tried it on that one. I really don't think it will work. I think I want to sell that one, so I don't want to try it. But there are wigs where I'm I'm guessing this won't work as well. So your mileage will vary. But I definitely think if there's already a little bit of lift there, uh, it will help you get more. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. I I think it's worth the money. I would buy it again. I plan to keep using it. I especially like that it doesn't coat the fibers and make them feel dirty to me because I don't want to wash my wigs very often. And so that is one of the reasons I don't use a lot of product, but I'm really liking this one. And quite honestly, with the perfume scent, if you need to refresh your wig a little bit, if it's getting a little bit smelly because it's getting close to needing a wash, maybe you can refresh it with this even because it does smell good. Let me know if you guys have questions. Hopefully this was helpful. I'll link in the description this product. I actually did buy it on Amazon. Um, I found Amazon actually had the best price for it when I bought it. So I did purchase this. Nobody sent it to me. And so I'll link that. But I mean, you certainly could shop around and should shop around to see if you can find a better price. Amazon was the best price when I bought it, though. I will get a little bit of a commission if you buy it on Amazon because I do have an affiliate code. I make hardly any money off of it and it costs you no extra money at all. It doesn't raise your price. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching. Tressler Wigwax gets two thumbs up from me. Mm -hmm.